Do you donate? Are you a philanthropist? Do you want to do it in a more tax efficient manner? Are you concerned about leaving some money at some point to a charity after you've passed and yet you want to leave as much as possible to your kids? We're going to cover a few important tips about donating money today. Now, obviously these strategies are best suited if you're making you know, significant donations, but even if you're donating five, 10 grand, these strategies can absolutely be used to benefit you personally in a much more tax efficient manner. Generally how it works is this, you go, you want to donate some money to your favorite charity, you'll pull out your checkbook, you'll write a check, they get the money, you get a donation. You get a tax credit, a donation credit. You get roughly half of it back. We'll round the numbers, we'll use round numbers. You get roughly half of that back on income tax, depending on the province you live in. Now a much better way to do it, and the, what we like to emphasize is if you want to donate shares in kind, you avoid the capital gains on the shares that you've donated. In addition, you get the full tax credit for the actual amount given. I'll give you an example. You take a share of a publicly traded security that you own in your personal portfolio. You donate that in kind through a transfer of securities. That share, you will avoid the capital gains on it. The capital gains tax is generally about 25% of any and all gains. So if you donate the portion of your portfolio that's got the most gains, you could be donating for 25 cents on the dollar. We do it all the time. The way that you want to do it is you want to structure a portion of your portfolio. If you know you're going to be giving something to charity on either an annual basis or every five years or every 10 years or even in your will, what you want to do, you want to set up an investment vehicle that has a diminishing ACV, an average cost base that goes down annually. The perfect example for this would be uh, a REIT, a REIT, a publicly traded REIT or a private REIT. They have, they pay out income, they reduce your ACV. So if you have a $10 share today and you get 8% tax efficient income, your ACV goes down to $9.20. You do that for a few years, next thing you know, your ACV is at zero. When your ACV is at zero, you then flip it around donate that share to the charity of your choice, your total cost to donate a full dollar to your favorite charity, 25 cents. You avoid the cap gains tax, you get the full tax credit on the way out, and voila, your charity's pumped, you're excited because you're able to donate way more than you could before, and uh, everyone's happy. The other way you could do it, you could also look at some tax planning strategies through insurance to then leave some money to a charity of your choice through legacy giving. So these kind of strategies uh, are, are very efficient. Some of them are simple, easy to implement, but probably nobody's ever told you about this. So hopefully you put that to good use. Like our video, uh, share it please, and please make sure to leave comments. We'd love to hear from you.